Good evening folks, welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for the start and 11 prediction for tomorrow's game at home to Ross County in the league. First of all, I hope everybody's recovered from Sunday night and the celebrations. Um, reflecting on Sunday and on the achievement again, as I said in all the post-match content, this has been a remarkable period of dominance. Um, I ran out of superlatives trying to describe just how unbelievable, like unprecedented, to win 12 domestic trophies in a row is, is honestly unimaginable. Um, so it was absolutely fantastic to get there, to get over the line on Sunday, to round off last season's triumph, to, to cap that quadruple treble um, and, and close off that massive period of success. But tomorrow we're right back in season 2020-2021 where we've got a lot of work on in the league. Uh, we can talk about a wee bit about the performance now that the celebrations are done for Sunday. Um, a lot of defensive issues, as we've seen throughout this season. So, going into the game tomorrow, we can't have too many changes out with maybe the, the one or two guys that are carrying knocks because we've got no margin for error in the league now. Um, we are playing Ross County, who obviously put us out of the League Cup a few weeks ago at Celtic Park. So, we should be looking for revenge, number one, and we've got to play a, a lot, lot better than we did that day. Ross County obviously sacked Stuart Kettlewell. Um, just last week there, John Hughes came in to take over as the new manager. So I'm sure all the Ross County players will be out trying to prove a point to him and, and win their place in the team. So we've got to be right at it. Um, and we saw in that League Cup tie that we can't take in for granted. We've got to perform. And as I say, the, the position that we're in, in the league, we've got to win these games. We've got to win against Ross County, win against Hamilton, and then win against Dundee United and lead up to that game at Ibrox. That is the bare minimum. We've got to get maximum points for these next three games. It's the absolute bare minimum. Thinking ahead to the team that the manager might pick for tomorrow then. In goals, I expect Connor Hazard to keep his place. He had a roller coaster 90 minutes, at uh, 120 minutes even, um, as we all did. I thought he looked really uncertain at times. He obviously makes a mistake for the third goal as well, coming out to, to, to try and collect the ball and I don't even think he, he lifted his arm so it was a bad mistake but he was the hero at the end of the day his two penalty saves were absolutely massive and if he does nothing else in his Celtic career um, he'll always be the hero of the quadruple treble um, Scottish Cup final penalty shootout so I think he'll definitely keep his place in goals in terms of the back four Christopher Ayer the man that scored the winning penalty who going forward certainly was brilliant again as the right back I think he will just keep his position there Shane Duffy looks like he might be out with a knock, so I think Beaton will come in and take his place, play alongside Christopher Julian at centre-half. Again at left-back, it's a toss of a coin for me. Taylor I thought was really poor in the first half um, of the game in the cup final. Maybe a little bit better in the second half, he put the two crosses in for Edward, so he, he maybe grew in the game, but wasn't a brilliant performance, I think. I've seen a couple of stats after it that maybe it wasn't as bad as it looked. Certainly Greg Taylor's performance, but Laxal did come into the game. And once again, I think it's a toss of a coin. I'd maybe like to see Laxal, but again, I've just got a feeling Neil Lennon will stick with Greg Taylor at left back. Into midfield, Scott Brown did start at the weekend. I thought he looked a lot more like himself, whether it was just that it was a cup final, it was a big game. Um, he was winding up Naismith, which was brilliant to see. Um, he has got a knock though, if you watch the, the unique angle video. Uh, for Sunday's Cup final you can see him limping heavily at the end so he won't play tomorrow I think Sorrow will take his place hopefully he can build I did get some some game time on, on Sunday towards the end of extra time but it wasn't a lot so hopefully he can build on those two performances against Leland Kilmarnock Callum McGregor will be alongside him because he plays every game and I expect David Turnbull to keep his place as well in the 10 I think Turnbull came off early um, Rogic came into the game and to be fair to Rogic, he did have that one bit of dazzling footwork at the byline where, where he cut it back and there was just no one on the end of it. But I don't think you could say that, that Turnbull struggled and when Rogic came in the game, he really changed it to the point where he's got to take Turnbull's place. Um, I do fully expect Turnbull to, to keep that place and, and play in the 10. On the right-hand side, Ryan Christie, who scored an absolutely unbelievable goal. Um, that is the stuff of dreams to score that type of goal in a cup final. Um, AD White's just kind of knocked a, a hopeless header to try and block the original pass and he swiveled on it, took a great touch and just hurled it into the top corner. Craig Gordon, no chance, it's a beautiful goal. Um, I know he's maybe, he's involved certainly with the, the Hearts equaliser in, in normal time for 2-2 and then he misses his penalty but that goal was just fantastic and as I say, the same 
very similar goal in, in the semi-final as well. So I think he'll keep his place. You could say with Duffy out, Ayer could go back into the centre half. Frimpong could go to right back, and then uh, Christie would be on the right hand side. But I'm just not sure because of the problems that Frimpong has had playing at right back this season and how well Ayer's done. I just don't think that that Neil Lennon will do that. On the left hand side, I do expect El Yunusi to keep his place again because I think it's just slightly too early for Mikey Johnston. I would like to see Mikey Johnston start, by the way. I thought he looked relatively bright when he came on on Sunday against Hearts. Um, done so well to, to put his penalty away, by the way, because that was right at the point. He, I think he was the one after Christie. So there was a huge, huge pressure on his penalty and he put it away brilliantly. Um, so I would like to see more of him as his fitness comes up. But as I say, I'm just not sure he's ready to start yet. Maybe if Hamilton and Dundee United to come, I'd like to see Johnson start, but I think El Yunusi will keep his place. And up top, I'm going to go with Edward. Scored a delightful penalty. Um, as I said in the, the post-match content, like we talk about, maybe he's just lacking confidence. The boy's never lacking confidence. Uh, he did have a couple of chances he's not in play, though, that he could maybe have done better with, but they weren't clear-cut sitters. Um, they were, I think, both for Greg Taylor crosses, as I mentioned earlier, and he's trying to kind of take them first time side foot, I don't think they're absolute sitters to the point where you go, how did they miss that? Um, could have done better with them though, but I just think there was enough there where we'll see him start this game. Griffiths did come off the bench, it was brilliant to see Griffiths got on the score sheet and once again he was brilliant with his penalty as well, putting it away. Um, he showed great character in both penalty shootouts, uh, that one for Scotland where he done really well to put it away and for, for us on the cup final on Sunday, considering he's not been playing a lot of football. Um, to, to be coming into these games off the bench, big pressure to step up and, and put a penalty away just shows you what a goal scorer he is um, again a, a great poachers goal to put his 3-2 up in the cup final, I wouldn't be totally surprised to see him start um, but again I just think, don't think he's quite there, I think we're still more likely to see him off the bench than we are to see him start in the game, particularly if we are going to play with the one up front and I know that there's a lot of comments every week about oh, Celtic should never be playing one up front when you get two up front when you get two up front. You can't kind of forget that we've played 3-5-2 a lot this season and we really, really struggled in that formation. The, defensively, we're all over the place and the 3-5-2 was arguably even worse than, than what the 4-2-3-1 has been. And I know there's a lot of um, factors in that. There's a, no, a lot of reasons for that. It's not just the formation. But I just think we're, we're still going to be in that 4-2-3-1 shape. We're not going to play 4-4-2. Um, rightly or wrongly, we're not going to play it. Um, we could. By all means, we could. But I just don't think we're going to. So if I think it's one up top, it'll be Edward. Um, we might see Griffiths. We might see Clamalo off the bench. I don't know what's happening with Ayeti. He's been out. Um, didn't even make the squad on Sunday. So I'll go with Edward. We'd like to see more of Griffiths. Uh, as well, but that's the team I've went with. That's who I think the manager will pick for tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get 11 out of 11 again, uh, although I would doubt it. Like the video, comment with your own thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We will be back with all the content uh, tomorrow. We are going to introduce live team news reaction um, as I've done before the cup final. That was a first, the first time we'd done that sort of content. I did put a poll out on the, the channel. You can find it in the community tab. If you go to Celtic Fans TV on YouTube, you'll find it in the community tab if you haven't voted already. I think we've had about 700 votes um, and 70% of you would like to see that sort of video for every game and, and not just the big games. So we're going to have that tomorrow. As soon as the teams get announced, I'll jump on and do a quick five minutes reaction to the team that Neil Lennon has picked. Um, and then as ever, we'll be live after the game with live full-time reaction. Um, here from the home of full-time reaction on Celtic Fans TV. Cheers.